I am Laura from Cherubs Chalks Interiors. Join me today as I use some of my favourite Dixie Belle products to transform this bookcase into something rustic and fun. I love a bit of solid pine furniture and as soon as I saw this I knew that it had great potential for my own living room. But it's been sitting in somebody's garage getting dusty and needs a little bit of love. This piece is waxed pine which means it's covered in layers of wax. This all needs to be removed to ensure that the paint is going to stick. I find the easiest way to remove this wax is to use a carbide scraper. This is a great tool and can be purchased on Amazon. Make sure you always work in the direction of the grain. Once I've removed all of the wax, it's time to prepare the wood. I'm starting off by sanding all over with a 120 grit sandpaper. This will create a good key for the paint to adhere to. I always use my electric Festool sander for this job, but you can easily hand sand using a sanding block and sandpaper. Now it's time to clean, so I'm starting off by using some mixed up white lightning granules in a spray bottle. I spray this all over and then wipe off. Now I'm going to rinse all over with some plain water. You need to make sure that you remove any residue from the white lightning. Because this piece is knotty pine and I intend to paint with a pale colour, I need to seal all of the knots to stop them from bleeding through. I spot treat all of these knots using a knotting solution and an artist brush. As I'm going for a rustic distressed finish, I'm going to use a number of colours and layer them up. I've chosen drop cloth as my base colour. This is a lovely off-white. Once the first coat is dry, I'm going to use some beeswax, which I'm going to rub on to all of the edges and the details. This will create a natural resist so that I can distress easier to reveal some of this lovely colour. The next colour I've chosen is burlap, a beautiful beige. I will now apply two coats of this all over. Now I'm going to add some fun details using the Retro Lattice Stencil. I'm going to be using Drop Cloth again for the stenciling and I've got a roller and a roller tray. I'm just going to apply a little bit because it's better to work with a small amount when stenciling. I'm then going to apply this using thin layers. I'm not looking for full coverage as I'm looking for quite a distressed look and I will be sanding this back a little bit afterwards. Okay, so now it's time to distress. As I've said, I'm looking for a really rustic finish. So I'm going on with my 120 grit and I'm just sanding over the whole piece to distress back. Paying particular attention to any edges and detailing and anywhere that would authentically get distressed over years of use. So now I want to seal and protect. So I'm going to use some Best Dang Wax in clear and to add some further depth and age, I'm using the brand Best Dang Wax too. I'm going to be wiping off with this brand new bag of rags, which is absolutely perfect for waxing. So to begin with, I'm going to use my L'Appetit brush and I'm going to apply this clear Bestang wax all over. This will protect the paintwork and make it really nice and durable. Once I've applied all of the wax using the brush, I'm then going to grab one of my rags from the bag of rags and I'm going to wipe off all of the excess. Now I'm a big fan of coloured waxes, so obviously this is the brand Best Dang Wax and I'm just applying this around the edges to add so much more depth and character. Again, once I've got this all on where I want it, I'm going to buff off the excess and blend it in using a rag. Once it's all waxed and finished, it's time for its photo shoot. I'm 
I think I've really achieved that rustic farmhouse feel. What do you think? I think that that stencil has really added the extra special finishing touch. I hope that you enjoyed watching our tutorial today and found it helpful. If you would like to support us on social media, you can find us at Cherubs Chalks Interiors, where we post all of our latest projects. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your post notifications to be notified when Dixie Bell Paint next posts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.